Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Your boy Ace back with another gameplay video, man. So we're jumping right back into some Tales of Arise. As you guys can see on the screen, the last gameplay video ended with Dohalim and Alfin having a conversation regarding Shion and her actions and, well not her actions, but her emotions after the Rena Alma was destroyed. I think I'm saying that right. So the Rena Alma is basically the core, the strongest core that has all five cores together so we've been defeating lords in this game we've been collecting each core from every lord that we've defeated and the core inside of Xion also adds to that collection which makes up the rena alma i think i'm saying it right which is the master core so basically what dohalim is pointing out to alfin right now in this conversation is you know yo bro did you see how she was acting when you somewhat destroyed the Renis Alma, like, she's not even, like, you hurt by it, you know, so, Xion, she has a curse, she has these spikes that comes out of her body, and in order for her to get rid of those spikes, you know, she needed the Rena Alma, so, that was, quote-unquote, destroyed, right, Alfin thinks he's destroyed it, right, and that happened right after we defeated Volron, the fifth and final lord, so, right now, I'm continuing the conversation, from the previous gameplay video how that video ended welcome back to the channel guys if you guys are new welcome welcome smash that thumbs up button if you guys do enjoy the content tap that you know bell for post notifications man like turn that bell on man if you guys want to be you know alerted on when i do upload these fire ass gameplay videos man and with that being said let's go ahead and continue this conversation let's get it i've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? <sighs> I do not. She definitely is hiding something, Dohalim. You're on the right track. We'll definitely figure out what she's hiding. You know, we have to. Because um, the last thing we want to do is be fooled by someone on our team who's been pretending to be one of us the entire time. So let's go ahead and push through. Right now, we got to get across the uh, Forland Mountains. All right, this seems to be the only way out of, you know, Thislam and this entire area that we are at so with that being said man let's continue i have to say though i'm really enjoying the storyline in tales of arise so far man it's definitely enjoyable uh the characters it's are enjoyable people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms how much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied what's that thing's purpose anyway some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the lords harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renes Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Nice. All Agreed. right. Let's keep moving. All right. So yeah, that's where I'm trying to head back to Cislodia. So Shion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell, are you worried about Shion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. 
All right, so we came from here. We gotta go here now. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenegas along with the wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Shion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. Hey, I remember seeing this bridge on my way to somewhere. That is right after we learned how to fish in the game. We made it to Cislodia. Cislodia, yes, yes. Nice. We need to get that bridge down somehow. Yeah, the bridge was to our right when we left Cislodia. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. And that's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be all right. Same here. Now let's get moving. Alright, so how the hell do we get this bridge down? Okay, this door doesn't open. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's go. Who knew I would have to travel so far and do so many things before we actually lowered this bridge? It's crazy. Oh, good. We can cross through here. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Renwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Heros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out, that'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? 
by boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. Yeah, let's just say sure you regained your entire Brady. memory, bro. Is probably in good hands with him. Yeah. All right, so my boy Brigon here is gonna get some finding a ship. some people to go help out in Ganeth. All right. It's freezing. It's always like this in Cislodia. Benincia was most fortunate, I see. All right, so it looks like I can now travel, you know, to all the other places in the world that I've been to, which is pretty dope pretty dope all right man cool all right so find a ship that's currently where we are in the video a boat huh where are we gonna find one of those it's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around especially not renin's for an imperial power they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion still i dare say there should be the odd small <coughs> vessel here and there all well and good, but that structure's slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrows should be in good hands, at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other Resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait, do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Harrows would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menencia. Mahagsar will do the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we've visited. That's true. And each and every connection we forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand. All right. So we are now here in Hidden Wharf Wharf, okay? This is the same boat that we took to get to Thislam. You remember the one that crashed? Yeah, that same boat. So we're here, man. We're going to ask our friend for another favor to board his boat. Hopefully he lets us board it. Uh, we were the reason why his boat sank the last time. I'm actually surprised he got it back up and running so soon. But yeah, man, thank you guys for all the love and support. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button for your boy if you guys do appreciate the content. And turn that bell on for post notifications so you guys are aware of when I do upload these fire-ass gameplay videos like the one you're about to watch. With all that being said, let's continue and finally end the story of Tales of Arise. All right, so he led us on the boat, which is a good sign. This thing already looked plenty huge from afar. Seeing it up close makes it really hit home. I didn't expect the journey to go so smoothly. I figured the Renans would send something to sink us. Maybe they didn't think we had the nerve to come. Somehow I kind of doubt that. It's entirely possible they don't see us as a threat. What do you mean? That they think they're beyond our reach. Still, 
This structure is quite the unusual sight. Truth be told, never seen anything like it. You're right. It doesn't look like the buildings on Lenegas at all. Or like any Renan structure, for that matter. It's weird. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that has people inside, either. Yeah, it's definitely something creepy. What the hell is it even made of? I don't know. It's not mechanical or biological, but it's definitely alive in some way. I'm okay. It's nothing. Well, what do we do now? We have to stop this thing from siphoning off all of Dana's astral energy. That means finding the core and smashing it to bits. Okay, but look at the size of it. I don't know if we'll find the core just wandering around. Good point. Can anyone get a read on the astral energy around us? Any kind of a sign? There's a rather enormous flow of energy moving directly upwards. If we wish to follow it, we'll have to do some climbing. <sighs> Rinwell? Over what there? the hell is happening with Rinwell? Hey, what's up with you? Huh? I... You okay? What happened? I'm not sure. When I was reaching out to the astral energy, I thought I heard... a voice. A voice? Yeah. I couldn't make out any words, but it sounded like it wanted me to come to it. What? This seems like a trap, right? It's not a trap! How can you tell? Listen, I don't know why, but when it spoke to me, I knew it wasn't hostile. What do you think? It could well be a trap. However, it's also our only real option, short of wandering aimlessly about. Let's trust Rinwell on this. You sure? Yeah. Eh, it beats the alternative, I guess. <laughs> what did I say? Sheesh, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Sometimes you have to choose your words more carefully, Law. They definitely like huh? each other, man. Oh, uh Rinwell right. and Law have a a thing for one another. I've been saying it. Emblem obtained. Rinwell, attuned mage. All right, so let's see, man, what we got here. Increase normal attack limit. All right, let's go back in. Uh, crossblade, an intermediate wind art that turns the air into a razor sharp blade for a cross shaped slash. Increases the amount of damage dealt from charge arts. Extends the duration of over limit and increased amount of damage dealt to enemies that get hit by a boost strike. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, not bad. It's noisy in here, isn't it? Things should calm down a little once we're through with this place. Optimistic as always. So yeah, man, I don't know if you guys remember in one of my playthrough videos, uh, huge stones started to appear in the middle of the ocean. They're called the Wedge. And Rena, the planet in the sky, started absorbing energy from Dana, which is the planet we're on now, Earth. And um, yeah, let's go. that the interior this is all dana's astral ener energy are you saying the renins are funneling it through here to send to lenigus sure looks like it we have to put a stop i can't this place definitely isn't easy to navigate that's for sure 
I doubt this structure was conceived with the ease of people's movement in mind. Yeah. We've been seeing nothing but Zoogle nests. It's almost as if we're inside an incredibly immense spirit vessel of some sort. A spirit vessel? If that's the case, then that would make Lenigus the master core that's receiving all the astral energy. Hey, have you heard that voice again since we came in here? Oh, so now you believe me. I never said I didn't believe you. <sighs> the further in we go, the stronger the voice gets. Is that a sign we're going the right way, then? Where's this voice coming from? Can you tell? Yeah, kind of. I hear it inside me, but I feel like it's also coming from every direction around us. It's hard to describe. It's almost like it's surrounding me. Surrounding, huh? Considering astral energy is involved, it's not that unusual. Right, but it's not scary or anything. Listening to it is really soothing. If you think so, just promise you'll say something if the voice gets too... clingy or anything. I promise. Yeah, Rinwell in law definitely got some type of romantic thing going on there, but let's continue, guys. Alright, this place. What the hell is this? flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Is that thing a Zoogle? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Alright, here we go! Here we go! Alright, so it has a couple of weak spots on its tentacles. Let's attack there. That's machine or what? But I do know it's pissing me off. Watch yourself. There is no knowing what you're capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? Crush! Here I go! 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 Here I Bloody hell! Illuminate the shot! 
Tore that shit apart. Let's go, man. Woo! I'm starting to get the hang of this combo system, man. Tales of Arise combat system is so freaking epic. Alright, what now? Is it over? I have a feeling we're just not getting started. What the hell is this? What is calling her into that light? Maybe it has something to do with her parents, maybe? Oh my gosh, it's her parents. It has to do with her parents. Looks like they're getting teleported upwards, maybe? No, I don't think you're on Dana anymore, sweetheart. Or maybe they are still on Dana. I like how all the female characters are crying tears and the guy's eyes are watery. It's like they can't see the tears falling down their eyes. That was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard 
might have been its voice? You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Exactly. There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Maybe the same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just speculation. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel, but we still haven't seen anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside Master Cores and Spirit Vessels that prevents such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's Spirit Vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So, then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy and poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, we will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry that's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Anyway, we should get going, right? We need to make sure the energy flow has actually stopped. Are we gonna have to take this winding path all the way back down, too? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. R Everything all right? You kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, jeez. Uh, Sorry Hoodle for is attacking him. <laughs> Stop it. It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. She likes nah, law, that's bro. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. Man, this girl is in love with law, man. And law likes her, too. You could tell. All right. Central core. Hello, where is this? Spiral. All right, uh, all right, so it looks like we got to head back down. Game just saved, auto saved. Uh, can we go through here? Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like we cannot go through here. 